In this new products video, we're going to take a look at some new high grip rhinos, a new style of quad block, and an update to the 8mm Rexbor Hyperhub. The 8mm X Hyperhub received a small but handy update in this revision. As you can see here, it essentially has been given some clearance so that a hex key can pass by it. This lets you access the screws that hold on a motor um, or other screws that might be on the other side of the hub in an assembly. Um, so if you have an assembly that's fully put together and you just want to swap out the motor, it makes it very easy to do that. It's not the kind of feature you might use every day, but when you need it, you're going to really appreciate that it's there. Next up is a new version of the Rhino wheels you guys know and love. These are our high grip versions. This means they're clad in a much higher grip 30A durometer rubber as opposed to the 70A durometer of the older wheels. Now this makes them both softer and grippier, giving you a lot of options if you're trying to drive robots very quickly or interact with objects that require a little extra bit of grip to pull into a project. Yeah, I think these are going to be especially wonderful for counter-rotating spinners because they don't expand as much as a gecko, but they stick a lot more than a traditional rhino would. Absolutely. I'm really pumped to see what you guys do with these. And finally, we have a 24 millimeter wide quad block. Uh, this new style of quad block is useful for a couple different applications. Uh, being 24 millimeter wide, the same width as GoRail, it works very well with GoRail in a lot of applications uh, where you might want to join two pieces of GoRail together uh, perpendicularly or mount one piece of GoRail to a lead screw nut that's inside of an open GoRail. Um, but it also acts as a surface mount adapter. So if I wanted to mount a GoRail going up from this table, I have some through holes through which I can put some wood screws to hold this down to the table. Um, and it's also worth noting, this is kind of an esoteric feature, but uh, on the inside you have a bearing recess. And the floor of that bearing recess, when you mount this inside of channel, is 43 millimeters from the opposing wall of the channel. Um, and the reason that's important is in certain applications like uh, worm drive where you have an assembly where things have been designed to line up to 43 to fit inside channel. Mm -hmm. um, this allows you to use that in those kind of applications uh, where you otherwise wouldn't have a wall on the open side of the channel. Absolutely. And that's all we've got for you guys today. Make sure to get subscribed to get notifications about future new product videos. And if you've got any questions about these or any other products we carry on ServoCity, feel free to shoot us an email over to tech at servocity.com.